guys so today we are going to be making the sublimation car angel ornaments they are just the sublimation angel wings that you hang from your rear view mirror and they look like this once they're done i think these are a great hit people love having angel wings in their car it's like your guardian angel and you could put a picture of a person here and they are double sided so you could do a picture on both sides or you could do like a quote on the back side i offer both i also offer just one side if you don't want both sides it's up to the customer um but yeah you can find them right on Etsy if you just search sublimation angel wings you will find a lot of sellers that are now selling these they're pretty popular now um so what you're going to do is you're going to just want to I do all my designing and printing in Photoshop. So I open up Photoshop. I'm gonna go to create new and I'm gonna do a eight by five by 11 because that's, that is the size paper I will be printing my design on today. So we're gonna do that. I always make sure my resolution is 300 pixels per inch. And these are my other settings if you wanna look at these to make sure you have the same settings. And then I hit create. Now we need to create a circle because our image is going to be shaped like a circle. To do that, I just take the paintbrush tool over here. So I check that. I come here. The only thing I'm, you go to the top for your settings. You just want to make sure your hardness is at 100% because you want a solid circle. The size could be anything. I usually do a thousand, but we're going to have to resize it anyways. So that's not too important. You would rather it be bigger than smaller. So it won't be pixelated. Um, so I usually do around a thousand pixels. And then we are just going to go to layers. You want to create a new layer. And just hit OK. And now you're just going to click on, your. make sure your new layer is selected. And you're just going to press one time to make a circle. Just like that. And now we need to resize our circle. So I'm coming here to the move tool on the top. And we need to make this our, the circle size that you need for the angel wings is 1.625 inches. That's the size of the circle. So I like to make my image a little bigger. So I do one point, around 1.75. So I'm gonna just take this, I'll zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, you're going to take the move tool, like I said, right here, and you're just going to drag one of the corners. And as you see, as I'm dragging it, there's this gray box that tells me the size. So I just keep going until it gets to roughly 1.75. Boom. So now we have our circle. And now you just want to duplicate this as many times as you need. Um, so you could duplicate it by right clicking by either right clicking on the layer here and go to duplicate layer and then hit OK. And now you have two layers. You could also check the layer, go to edit, copy. I'm using a MacBook, so I would do command C or I can go to edit, copy, and then I could go to edit, paste, or I could hit command V and that would duplicate it as well. I could also use the shortcut on my keyboard, which is command J and that would duplicate it as well. So there's different ways you could duplicate it. Those are, those are um, I think what four ways I can do it on my MacBook. So again, if I just check this, hit command J, it makes a whole nother one for me. Now, if you want to make sure these are evenly spaced out, um, you can also use the mold tool and just drag across every single one. And these right here is spacing. So if I hit this one, we'll space them evenly like that. You see how those moved? Um, you don't have to do that. I just do it sometimes. And now we're all set to get our images. So now you're going to import your images. So I go my finder um downloads i'm gonna find the images i'm gonna use yeah this one and then you would just drag your image in like so 
resize your image and you want to place your image over the circle and what I do is I make my opacity a little smaller so I can see exactly how it will fit in the circle you see now I can see what will actually be printed in the circle so we're gonna do like that you can make it bigger you can make if you want the whole body you can do that if you want just the face just spread it out like so and make sure remember we made the circle a little bit bigger than the actual blank um so you want to make sure you have you want to make sure the head isn't like all the way at the top like this because we press it it's going to cut off part of the head so make sure i just make sure it's kind of centered like so i'll make it a little bit smaller just like that and then I'm going to bring my opacity back up and then I'm going to take and I'm going to take this and I'm going to drop it over which circle it is. So I need to move this layer right above this circle because you see if I click this, this is the circle I have. So I'm going to put that right over that circle and then so I'm going to move the layers. I don't want it to be all at the top. I want it to be my circle and then my image right above that. So then I'm going to sit here. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to hit create clip and mask. And that's going to make it the size of the circle. And then you will also grab your other images. And you do the same thing. Um, I also have. Let me see. So I also have this file I made right here. As you can see it shaped as a circle. Um. It just says your wings were ready, but our hearts were not. And this I like to use if they don't, if they want it double sided, if they want it double sided with a quote, I usually use this right here. So I would just come here, I will select everything, and I would copy merge, and I'll come back to my other thing, and I will go to paste. Just like so. And again, this I'm just going to resize. So about 1.75 and then that would be my circle for the back this would be my front image this would be my back image and then you would just do that for however many more you are doing so yeah so now all you would do now is completely do whatever other designs you need to do on this page go to file print and then you would just print it and then I'll show you what we do next. All right, you guys. So now we're going to do the angel wings. This is what you get with the angel wings. You get this pendant here. This is a double-sided 3M adhesive, as you can see. And then you're going to get two sublimation discs. These do have a plastic film on them. So make sure we're going to take these off first. Usually you could use just like an X-Acto knife and kind of just... Try to peel it off there's usually like a little lip so see as you guys can see and then i'll just peel the rest off put my hand and now we're gonna just take this we're gonna put it face down over our image and do the same with the other one Okay, so once you get all your discs laid down, you are going to take your heat transfer tape. And you are just going to tape down your blanks. Just like so. And now we're going to take this to our heat press, which is heated up at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. We're going to flip it upside down and press it for 60 seconds. Okay, you guys, so I press mine. When you press it, make sure you're pressing it this way and not this way. Um, it is still pretty hot, but we're just gonna try to avoid touching the metal and just kind of peel the images off. And this is my results. As you can see, it's kind of upside down right now, but 
they came out really really good super vibrant colors are great and now all you need to do literally like how easy this is literally all you're gonna do now is take this you're gonna peel back this tab here and you're literally just going to align everything up make sure it is facing the right way line it up and then I just usually press it down and that's it and then we'll do the same to the other side take this off get your picture align it I align mine with this part here at the top so I just try to center it with that and there you guys have it now you have your angel pendant for your car you flip it over double side it i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to see more tutorials or more even more sublimation or any other type of craft stuff let me know what you want to see and i will make the video for you guys Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one.